नमस्कार एंड वेलकम टू द ट्वेंटी एपिसोड ऑफ वीडियो सीरीज डी के रिकॉल एपिसोड थ्री ऑफ दिस वीडियो सीरीज वेयर इन वी हैव डिस्कस दैट to achieve sustainability in agriculture and profitability from farming we need to ensure effective management of resources so far we have covered several topics on emerging challenges and practical solutions with regard to soil and crop management aspects and shall continue in future too in this episode we will spend some time on proper water management for crop production we know water is one of the most valuable resources for life on this earth as regards plants it directly influences photosynthesis respiration absorption translocation and utilization of nutrients and several other processes in simpler words water to plants is like blood in the human body and therefore its shortage that is water stress and access adversely affects plants the same as shortage and or excess of blood causes health issues in human beings leading to untimely death to both plants and humans you know crops either depend on rain that is rain fed or are irrigated to meet their water demands to further emphasize the importance of water it is to mention that worldwide 80% of the cultivated land is rain fed with 60% production and only 20% cultivated land is irrigated that is nearly 275 to 300 million hectares and account for 40% of global food production globally irrigated lands yield 2 to 3 times greater than rain fed in india out of 140 million hectares less than half is irrigated and rest is rain fed so to continue feeding the ever increasing population it is important to bring more and more cultivated land under assured irrigation as per un report published in the year 2019 it has been predicted that by the year 2050 global water requirement will increase by 20 to 30% and that in agriculture by 50% as per a fao forecast in india it is alarming to note that per capita availability of water in the year 2001 was 1816 cubic meter that has gone down by 22% in 2021 as per international standards if it declines further by 1000 or 1100 cubic meters the country can be declared as water stressed here it is relevant to mention that out of the total water demand globally industry and power generation account for 19% household use for 12% and remaining 69% for agriculture including irrigation livestock and aquaculture when fresh water is becoming increasingly scarce there is serious challenge to food security and environmental sustainability as the demand is the highest in agriculture out of the total irrigated lands in india irrespective of the source of water that is well tube well canal tank etc the most prevalent method is flooding where the water use efficiency is hardly 30% in contrast there is 95% efficiency in the case of drip method hence every possible efforts need to be made to stop flooding in favor of methods like a sprinkler drip etc depending upon the suitability of soil and crop this is important because there is a general belief that applying more water yields more not only in villages but also in the cities that use more water to the potted plants lawns etc for better growth in both the cases they end up in loss as excess water is many fold more harmful than water stress and therefore there is an urgent need to make all possible efforts by all of us to ensure the best use of every drop of water thereby improving the water use efficiency and also its sustainability this is because crops normally use less than 50% of the irrigation water they receive and the remaining water leads to water logging salt imbalance soil erosion and ultimately rendering agricultural lands degraded and or unproductive to avoid over irrigating a crop let us try to understand the water requirements of some major crops it may change according to the seasons or soil types but net requirement shall not change kindly refer to the series of tables to have a broad idea about some kharif 
rabi, summer, and perennial crops, and also the maximum number of irrigations needed at the critical growth stages. If there is rain during any season, less irrigation will be applied. The very first crop is padding. In case it is grown during Kharif season, the maximum number of irrigation should not exceed six and the total water supplied should be within 50 centimeters. In case of Jawar, Bajra, Tuar, the total water requirement is around 20 centimeter and the maximum number of irrigation should not exceed three. In case of maize, the maximum number of irrigation should not be more than four, while in case of groundnut, chili, onion and vegetables, it should be within five. Similarly, in case of soybean and sunflower grown during Kharif season, the total number of irrigation should not be more than three. Now regarding some rabi crops like wheat, sunflower and safflower, the total number of irrigation should not exceed five and that in case of gram should be within four. In case of groundnut and maize fodder or vegetables and onions, the total water applied should not exceed 60 centimeter and the number of irrigation should be within eight to 10. If the same groundnut crop is grown during summers, the total water requirement is around 80 centimeter and number of irrigation should be within 10. While in case of sunflower, it is 60 centimeter and while in case of onion, the total water supplied should not exceed 70 centimeter in nine irrigations. As regards perennial crop, that is sugarcane, artsali planting, if it is done during June and July, the total water requirement is 400 centimeter. Another perennial crop that is banana requires a maximum of 24 number of irrigations comprising of 240 centimeter of total water. To minimize the challenge, we need to devise suitable strategies to ensure the best utilization of water, mainly under two situations. The first is when sufficient water is available on demand and when only limited water is available. To repeat once again, our strategy must be in terms of cultivating only suitable crops, applying water when it is necessary and using efficient irrigation methods to avoid flooding and or over irrigating the crop. We are hopeful that with our collective efforts, we will certainly achieve more crops per drop with less environmental impact and conserve the most fertile topsoil against degradation. Thanks, like the video and subscribe the channel, share with friends and give feedback so that we can include new topics for further discussions.